Hello, this is Dr. Parrick, and I'm here today to talk to you about an interesting case of a mass in the neck with an initially unclear uh, identity. So, a bit of a what's it in the neck. First and most important thing to talk about is the fact that the patient is an avid Steelers fan and therefore a very tough iron lady who had a number of typical parathyroid symptoms like fatigue and brain fog that came on over time but never complained about it and just kind of muscled through as many parathyroid patients do until the pressure in her neck that she experienced while working out became such that it, it bothered her and she talked about these issues with her doctor. Um, she wound up getting some imaging and a CAT scan showed a large three centimeter mass in her neck associated with her thyroid and she also had an ultrasound and if we go through the ultrasound it, it shows some nice pictures of what she was up against. You can see the thyroid between the carotid artery and the trachea and then behind it this big mass that has both solid components as well as uh, fluid components. The fluid components being the dark uh, black um, areas and if we look up and down uh, we can see that this mass is bigger than the thyroid itself um, and it's right up against it uh, and so the question is what is it? Is it part of the thyroid? Is it something else? Uh, certainly doesn't look like a typical parathyroid tumor if you've seen some of the uh, images of other presentations that we have on parathyroids. So she winds up getting a biopsy that is benign. Um, however, if you look at the cellular components of biopsies, you can't really tell whether a mass is parathyroid or thyroid. And unfortunately, sometimes parathyroid tumors, even though they are benign tumors, when they're biopsied, sometimes the pathologists aren't sure whether they're benign or cancer, uh, or if they're thyroid or parathyroid, they don't know. Uh, thankfully, you can get what's called a PTH wash that can tell. But anytime you're biopsying a parathyroid, they tend to bleed, cause a bunch of scar tissue, and it can be an issue. So thankfully, uh, she had a fantastic primary care physician who noticed that she had a normal calcium level until this year. And when the doctor looked at it, she noticed that the calcium was in the 11s, did an excellent workup, and the PTH was above 100. So clearly there's parathyroid disease here. But boy, this mass doesn't look like your typical parathyroid tumor. Um, so if we look at the Sestamibi scan of this patient, I've labeled here where the parotid is, so that's up around the head, the heart obviously down in the chest, and then the thyroid in its typical location. And the right-sided thyroid lobe, <coughs> which is what the arrow is pointing at that says thyroid, this looks like a big thyroid. And if you're used to looking at these, you can also see that there's solid and cystic components to this mass, whatever it is associated with a thyroid. And that I uh, uh, can't really tell exactly what it is on this imaging. So off to the operating room we go. This is Dr. Parrick. You can see inside the incision. That is what we call a retractor. If you look just right next to the retractor, You'll see the white of the carotid artery. There's a vein coming off the carotid artery, an artery coming off the carotid artery, sorry, that's crossing over the bottom of the tumor, which is that brownish peanut butter colored mass right in the middle of the shot right there. The thyroid is going to be right here where you see me moving, the kitty, is what we call the retractor. And then way up there, going too high for you to see, is going to be the top of the tumor but that's the large mass between the carotid artery and the thyroid. So what's difficult to appreciate from this is that really all you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. That uh, is only the portion of the parathyroid tumor that's visible at this time. The rest of it is behind the thyroid, behind the carotid artery, and stretching down uh, underneath or posterior to what's known as the inferior thyroid artery. So thankfully the surgery went beautifully and out came this not so beautiful mass. A normal parathyroid gland is supposed to be the size of a grain of rice. The typical tumor that we take out of a, our normal sort of average parathyroid patient uh, is usually about a centimeter. So this mass is uh, around four centimeters or so in size and it's, it's a big round mass as well. So even though this nice lady had had normal calcium levels until last until this year uh, this tumor has been growing there for well over a decade 
um, maybe 15, 20 years to get a tumor of this size. And it's just that she had been compensating for her disease so well that her labs were unimpressive. Uh, her body was able to keep that calcium level normal. But eventually the body can only take so much. It can't compensate anymore. The calcium's high. The symptoms are challenging for the patient. Most patients can't feel these masses in their neck. They have no awareness that they're there. But this one was so big and it was pressing on her neck in an uncomfortable manner. She was actually able to feel it. And thankfully, with the tumor coming out, her PTH dropped down to uh, the normal range. And uh, hopefully, over the next few months, she'll just feel better and better and put all this behind her. So uh, good luck to the Steelers and good luck to the, this nice Steelers fan who hopefully will have a lot more energy from her workouts moving forward.